So as you might have seen from my previous videos, my excitement over the Doogee Mix 5.5 went to bitter disappointment in the space of just a few short days. And it was all about the camera. The camera quality on this phone, unfortunately, is just terrible, and that's not good enough for me. But I was thinking, it's a dual camera phone. Why does it have two cameras? Well, as I understand it, the purpose of dual cameras on modern smartphones is to make up for the fact that you can't fit better optics in the thickness of a camera body. And so two cameras can be used to combine images and interpolate and produce a photographic result which is better than it would be from a single camera. So I thought, let's test this. So I stuck a piece of tape halfway across one of the rear-facing cameras on the back of the Doogee Mix 5.5. Now, if both of these cameras are used in the image, this should make a big difference. We should see some sort of interference or great big blue line down the back of the photos. So then I set the camera up on a tripod, clamped to the table. I took pictures and movies in every single mode of the camera. And here are the results. Now, here's the thing. That camera on the back of the Doogee Mix 5.5 does not appear to do anything. None of the still photo or video modes or settings in the camera app used that second camera at all. So there we go, that second camera on the back of the Doogee Mix is a sham. A shammerer. Now, maybe some software or firmware update will come along that will make use of that camera and will improve the photographic performance of this phone. I'm not sure I'm going to wait for that. If that happens, Maybe I'll take this video down and I'll replace it with something that seems a bit fairer. But at the moment, my impression of the camera on this phone is one of great disappointment. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.